everybody it is brooke and i am back it is saturday so we're diving back into the buffy verse today uh we're going to be watching angel season two episode two uh if you're new here hi it's nice to meet you thank you for joining um i'm watching the entire buffy verse so that's buffy and angel simultaneously based on the slay alive guide uh so you can always google that if you want to see the episode orders uh but today obviously angel season two episode two if you're like oh but i really am craving some buffy this week you can head over to patreon it's linked in the description uh the first episode of buffy season five is up on patreon if you're seeing this on youtube uh if you're seeing this the day it comes out on patreon it'll be up today as well yeah because no if this is coming out on Patreon, it's coming out next week on Patreon. <laughs> I'm like, no, in a week. You'll see it in a week if you're watching this the day it comes out on Patreon. Uh, or if you're watching on YouTube, they're ahead, so it's already up over there. Um, if you can't afford to support on Patreon, that's okay. Uh, you can support the channel for free by subscribing, uh, which unlocks new features for me, as well as liking and commenting sharing interacting with the videos it just tells youtube hey people like this and then they show it to more people um which i always appreciate just because it's especially as a small channel like the more people you get uh the more features you unlock which can be really fun and um, last time on angel we watched the first episode of season two Angel accidentally killed a demon that was trying to protect someone because uh, Cordy's vision wasn't very clear, which is kind of a problem. But he was also kind of diving into the fighting demons to try to get to be human again. He wasn't focused as much on the people he was saving versus the demons he was fighting. And now he's back on the right track. Um, we saw him visit Faith. We saw Darla is still with Wolfman and Hart and they're definitely up to something. Um, and then, uh, Gunn is in the opening. He's the guy from last season whose sister got turned into a vampire, but then he helped Angel out in a couple of episodes. He's in the opening now, so I don't know if that means he'll be in every episode. That's what I assume. Only, like, the mains are in the opening, uh, which I think is good. I think out of everyone in season one to be added, like, who wasn't already a main character to be added, I'm glad they picked him over someone like Kate. We haven't seen her yet. I'm still like this, then maybe that storyline is just written out, because I don't know. Maybe some people found that compelling, but I did not. Um, but I'm interested to see if Darla will show up around Angel today, because Angel has no idea what got brought back in that uh ritual he was too focused on saving cordy and wes so we have no idea what that's gonna be uh but yeah i just i i'm interested to see them interact for the first time because obviously she changed him but he killed her uh he killed her once i don't see why he wouldn't be able to kill her again uh but i also don't want her fucking with any of the characters i care about uh, she can mind her own fucking business and hang out with the Wolfman and Heart people because if she goes crazy and kills them, I won't feel as bad. <laughs> um, you know, I'll be like, oh, sad. So sad that they died. Hate them. <laughs> Except for Christian Kane, of course, because I still hold out hope that he will do the right thing. But he's looking more and more like a Spider-Man villain every day. So I doubt it. <laughs> uh, but... Thanks for listening to me yap. It is time. Let us watch Angel Season 2, Episode 2. In California Spanish, Deco influence, I'd say built in the Are late 1920s. Are they looking for an office building? It's just west of here in what used to be the heart of Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, it's haunted as fuck, probably. With I, demons. Um... That's cinnamon. She put Wait, cinnamon in the blood? Uh, what's our interest? I need you two to look into the history, find out who owns it now and why they're letting it stand. Don't smell it! Take it off to the present day. I don't want to talk about you the police. You believe whatever made this place its home did so for some time? Probably right up to the end. That means they're, I'm wrong and they're going to bring Kate back. <laughs> it is pretty big, to be completely empty. Return mail from 315. Mr. Ferris really must stop writing to his mother postage due. I did it last time. Why me? That gives me a heebie-jeebies. So they're like a hotel for demons? Yeah, I don't 
like I'd want to be the one getting this task. Oh no, you're not here. I'll just leave this, you know, outside your door and you can pick it up when it's more, what do you call it? Convenient. Okay, well he survived it. Are we in the past? Okay, so this is definitely gonna be a past future episode where we flash back to his time at the hotel compared to now. So it's interesting for him to say that like there's nothing there because he had his soul uh, at no this point. For Hello. Cute. Angel's like, I don't care. Sorry, I'm trying to use the ice machine. Did you yes. fuck off? I understand. Is that the same guy? What is happening? They all look the same in the suits! Hello? The room is nice. Ma'am? I'll be finished here in just two shakes, sir. And you're the wrong color. Oh, damn. He called you out, bitch. I'm sorry. Um, the door was open, and I just, um... Before he eats you? I can't. I'll help you. Um, um, my, my boyfriend, he's kind of the jealous type. Maybe you shouldn't go wandering into other men's rooms. He's like, uh, hello. Where is she? That's not her boyfriend. You won't mind if I just come in and take a look around then? Mm, I would. This is my room that I pay for. I'll call security. Gee, I guess I do mind. Okay, Judy, we're never speaking again. Date better men. I don't think Judy was hiding from a boyfriend. I feel like there's something else going on there. It's been empty ever since. Oh, the bellhop guy? According to records, it was declared a protected historical landmark. I love the mysteries. The management company that owns it has been trying to well, unload it could for have 10 years. Him. It's haunted. Oh, that's really interesting. Or cursed. What are we doing? Doing? Yes. You did notice that Angel neglected to tell us the, for instance, point of all this. Yes, I, I did notice that, the no point. Frankly, I haven't the slightest idea what to do with all this. Oh. Now we Drama! Know yep, it's not that vampires don't photograph. It's just that they don't photograph well. I mean... <laughs> God we damn it, Cordy, he looks fine. To this place. I love a mystery episode! <laughs> Got me higher than a car. stretched about a mile. Well, you can't shoot him. Is he gonna shoot himself? Okay, some kind of like ghosty demon vibe. It's giving the vibe of Cordy's apartment when it was haunted. Sir, no. He's like, I don't fucking care, bro. I don't think Angel was in a good mental place. Consuela? Does she ever? <sighs> Though, the Death He's Wishers usually tip everyone? better. Like, they know they're not gonna take it with them anyway. See, if you look at the way his body's laid down, though. Now he's hearing it. Three, three months. They'll shut you down. Yes. They will. We can't just leave him here. Of course not. Well, um, 
Store him in the meat locker. Store him? Are all screenwriters this crass? Mm -hmm. Are all actors this naive? Do you want the cops nosing around here asking questions? Or the press? Well, what are they up to? It seems to be like getting into everyone's, like certain people's brains and like convincing them. I saw you over here. I hope you don't mind. I thought I'd say hello. Hello. <laughs> he's not the safest to be. Have well, he is a show? soul, so he's better than before. And it's cheaper than going to the pictures. I had to get out of the hotel after what happened. He come back? Come back? Can you imagine that wallpaper being the last thing you see before you go? Maybe it was the wallpaper that drove him to it. I know you didn't want to before, but you helped me. You did, and I, I needed to thank you for that. Right. Gilnitz. He worked as a bellman. He, the I don't know if he did it. We'll put him in he didn't seem to but care enough to kill people. Until 54. Should we put him there? So, we're sitting there having a drink, and the guy says to me, do they serve peanuts at this bar? So? So, the guy's supposedly suicidal, and he's thinking about peanuts? Hey. Can you come in here for a sec? Judy, what is going on with you? He was murdered. I don't think so. No, it's true, which means there's going to be police and and questions, and and I thought that you might want to know. I, I just figured that I owed you a heads up on account of what you did for me before. So. Well, that's nice, but again, he did Thanks. kill himself. I mean, I think ghosts were involved, but... Maybe her I mean, shitty boyfriend, boyfriend hired a PI? I had a hunch. I'm pretty sure he works for my former employers. City Trust Bank of Salina, Kansas. I was a teller there. She stole something from the bank? Damn, that's I my queen! Of it. Not a dime. I, I can't even bring myself to touch it. Why take it? I don't know. I was angry, and so they fired me. And then Peter found out why, and he broke it off. And I just couldn't go back to where I came from. I couldn't. So I took this, and I found out I just what? Ran. Because I'm not what I say I am. I've been passing since I was 15 years old. Passing? Oh, she's sharing? For white. Oh, for white? My mother was colored. My father... I didn't even know him. Nobody believes that. Not even my mother's family. I'm not one thing or the other. I am nothing. I'm a thief. I've never stolen anything before in my life. I swear it. I, I mean, they were racist. The things that they called They spend me. their money. Fear makes people do stupid things. I didn't mean you. No, yeah, them. They're stupid. Take their money. Former employers. They were afraid. I'm gonna take the money. I'm gonna he help disappears. Oh, see, he is a good so guy. Where did we put her? When did she die? Um, no, not Judy. Don't be rude to Judy. Judy, there are no cops. Well, not yet. Oh God, I can't go to prison. I, I just, I can't. It'd be like, like being buried alive. Oh, I hope she doesn't get buried alive. I want you to go back to your room. It's very much like my American Horror Something Story Hotel Inspo. Crazy. Hey, do you think that if, no lady if Gaga somehow has, the money ended up on the bank's doorstep? There is such a thing as forgiveness, right? Um, from banks? No. <laughs> oh no, the money's still there. Damn it, I was hoping Judy got the money and ran. I can sense it. There's a pattern here. And that pattern Some force is? was residing at the Hyperion over the last decades, affecting staff. Whispers to its victims, feeds on their innate insecurities. Aww. I thought if I had you trace the events so we could track it and find out where it went, but it's still here. All right, I want you and Cordy down here ASAP. What can I do you for? I need information on demons. Do you know, Daddy? Everything you have on possessing entities. Ow. That's right. Oh, 
right? Run, coward of the night! You got a reputation, that's why I'm here. Now, it's been a long time since I opened a vein, but I'll do it. You pull any more of that Van Helsing Jr. crap with me. Are we clear? Just help him. He's nice. I want the books nice. in the back. why I'm calling the police. No, Fire pick. me. Go ahead. No chance I'll I get in trouble with that, is there? I don't be paranoid. You had more reason to murder him than anyone else here? Expose, perhaps, your little peccadillos to the press? Don't you dare use alliteration with me, you hack. You're don't just use alliteration with me. You'll take your phone call. Comrade Pansy Red. And what seems to be I hope Judy got away. If anyone gets away, I hope it's her. This vessel like demon. How do I kill it? You're old as fuck now. You don't, you run away from it. There's gotta be a way to kill it. That's tricky and dangerous. Oh. I love tricky well, the and dangerous. <laughs> there in the book, but you're gonna need an orb of Ramjurim. Now I got one I can let you have for cheap. Something really big to hit it with. And that'll kill it. Oh, it might. Wouldn't hurt to have a lightning strike, you know, finger heaven kind of thing, but... I'm not sure I do either. Right! You once asked me where you could purchase a gun. <laughs> Name C. Mulvihill. P.I. You look Fuck suspicious. off. I'm looking for this woman. Why is it so empty? No, oh, I wanted Judy to get away. We command you, leave our minds and join us on this, the physical plane. <coughs> Angel! Guys, don't listen to it, all right? Whatever it's whispering to you, just ignore it. They were like this all the way over here in the car. One of the new opening scenes. <laughs> What else she lied about, the little slut? I didn't mean anything. Okay, why are we slut shaming? Someone, bro. What? John! Maybe pissed. Superior oh. landing. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm stuffed. God, I love people. And the fear and prejudice turns to certainty and hate. And I take another bite and mm, mm, mm. He probably won't betray any left. <laughs> what a beautiful, he also don't have the beautiful weapon. dance. <laughs> and you thought you'd made a friend. Newsflash, you had! That's what made her the yummiest morsel of all. She's a meal that's gonna last me a lifetime. <laughs> Take them all. Because <laughs> now he has friends who do care. Tentacles. I don't remember ordering takeout, especially that one. <laughs> He's like, okay, why's it gonna be me? You had your last meal here a long time ago. You should have gotten out when you had the chance. Paranoia here is like fine wine. It gets better with age. The kitchen's closed. Get electrocuted, bitch! Yeah, I mean, the, the world's a better place without demons like that. Is she still living there? Because she feels guilty. Yeah. Oh. Judy. Judy, I was fine. 
Am I safe? Oh, Do you live her whole life here alone? Can I go out now? Just a little rest. She's gonna pass away, isn't she? Easy. I would Can rather she had peace. Me? Oh. Of course. You alright, man? Yeah. We finished? I think so. I'm in paranoia. Bad vibes. We're moving in. I mean, if you throw pillows, what's not to love? Angel. <laughs> I love her. Surely you, more than anyone, must appreciate. Not anymore. Also, yeah, they can give people they're helping a place to stay now, too. God. <laughs> you know, I was worried. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit, Wesley. Um, okay, cute. Cute episode. Um I I really like this episode. I like there's a couple other shows that do this where they'll have like flashbacks and there's a mystery that you need to figure out and you only have the clues from modern day like clippings and stuff. I love that stuff. Uh I think it's really compelling and interesting to watch and try to figure it out. Um I think the paranoia demon was a cool idea. I think the way he looked himself is less fun than when you're picturing it in your head as all these people are hearing the whisperings and stuff. Uh, but I think it was a cool way to show even, like, how far Angel has come. Because he still had his soul back in the 50s, but, like, you could tell he'd been burned before and he didn't really trust anybody. And then the first person he did sold him out. To be fair, she was being affected by the demon as well. Uh, and then her guilt kept her there. Um, but I think this is a really compelling mystery and episode to set up this new location. Uh, it seems like they're going to turn it into an office slash, I assume, like, hotel for people they're helping who could stay there. And maybe, like, Gunn and his team can stay there. Uh, they can offer, like, sanctuary to demons and people who need it, which I think would be a really big step for them. Uh, I also, yeah, so I, I think the setting will be really cool. It also allows them all to, like, have a base that is not Cordy's apartment, which is probably better, uh, especially after their last one got blown up. Um, uh, we didn't see... Darla are the wolfmen and heart people this time. So they're definitely the overarching story. I think we'll see them dropped in every once in a while. Uh, I love the 50s style vibe. I thought all the characters, like the characters being affected by the demon were fun. That they reused the same ones and they kept having the same conversations. And it was cool how they'd be having a conversation downstairs. And then the people upstairs would be thinking the same thing because of the demon. Uh, the, the one who played the bellhop, his voice was so familiar. Um, he sounded like, kind of like the, uh, Dean and Community. And I don't, um, but I don't know if they're just both bald white guys or it's the same actor. So someone will have to tell me that. Um, but yeah, I like when we go back and look in uh, Angel's memories a bit. And I like that this one wasn't olden times, like right when he turned and stuff. This is like a time of him in the 50s. I would love to see him in different decades. Uh, I think it was really fun. Uh, and God was in it again. So I think that officially makes Gun a main character. He's in the opening. He was in both of these episodes. I'm excited to see him more and more. I think him and Wesley act off each other really well, and I like how different they are. Uh, I think that can come up with s some fun stuff. They mentioned the police this episode, and we didn't see Kate, so I'm continuing with my hoping maybe she's gone <laughs> uh, vibes, just because, yeah, 
again, not, wasn't my fave. This episode, very invested in the present and past storylines. And I kind of liked how they interweave them because there were some moments where I would get confused which timeline we were in. But it didn't make me mad. I was just like, oh, they're just blending it so seamlessly. Um, really enjoyed that. I am interested to see where this episode is, like, this season is going. I just, I don't get how Darla's that big of a deal that they had to do so much to bring her back. Like, they really think she's going to have that much effect on Angel. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm excited for when that happens. But make sure that you subscribe so you never miss a Buffyverse episode. We'll be watching Angel Season 2, Episode 3 on Tuesday and Buffy Season 5, Episode 1 on Saturday. And I know you guys don't want to miss that. Make sure you're subscribed, you hit the bell, uh, and you check out Patreon if you'd like to. It's in the description. And other than that, I will see you guys next time.